Her lessons are always fun and engaging. At this point, I can use magic at the intermediate level without breaking a sweat. So we've started doing classroom-style lessons in the evenings as well. But don't worry, there's no sexy time involved. I've been a perfect gentleman. Magic manifested thousands of years ago. To defend themselves from threats, the tribes to the north entreated the forest spirits to grant them control over wind and earth. Modern magic began when humans mimicked and reworked the spells they saw in battle during the war with demon kind. So there's a whole history to this and everything? Of course. Honestly, I'd prefer sexy time. History was never my thing. That's really exciting, though. I had no idea this world had things like spirits and demons and stuff. Of course it does. And I'm a demon myself, actually. Oh, that's awesome! Are you really? Yes, indeed. Surely you remember how surprised your parents were to see me when we first met. Yeah, that was because you're so tiny, right? I am not tiny. But no, they were taken aback by the color of my hair. How come? You didn't know about demons, so I take it you've never heard of a race called the Superd. I haven't. Are they scary or something? Yes. They're a green-haired race from the Babanos region. 400 years ago, they led a killing spree during the La Place War. After destroying their enemies in battle, they'd immediately turn on their allies, then slaughter the women and children left defenseless back at camp. They became as despised as they were violent. After the war ended, they were driven from the demon continent entirely, considered too dangerous to coexist with. Growing up, I heard about them all the time. Mostly things like, don't stay up too late or the Superb will find you and gobble you up. I guess every world needs a good boogeyman. Anyway, pay attention. They're fairly easy to recognize. They all have emerald green hair and red gems in their foreheads. So don't you dare go anywhere near them. If I do get too close, will they kill me? They might follow you home and kill your whole family. I'll be careful then. Well, that to say, my hair can look green in the wrong light and people tend to think the worst. Well, I think your hair is real pretty, miss. That's sweet of you. Someday you'll grow up and find a girl you like, so you should save lines like that for her. Maybe, but I like you right now, miss. I see. Well, if you still feel that way ten years from now, feel free to say that again. Look Thanks at that. Today. I knew all those hours I sunk into dating sims wouldn't go to waste. Better dust off those crappy pickup lines from my old life. They could be the keys to the kingdom and unlocking some passionate relations. But I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> The Superb will gobble you up. Okay. Roxy's been with us for about a year now. Yes. My steady practice has paid off. Now, I never run out of mana. I can use advanced magic, and my lessons are as smooth as butter. <laughs> On the other hand... It's a whoosh and a slash. That's basically it. Give it a shot. So, step in with a whoosh, and then... Did I do it right? No! That's stepping in with a hop and wham! Stay light on your feet! Remember, it's whoosh and slash! I'm still only four! My body's not conditioned yet. I have a long way to go, but I got this. how the scenery makes me feel. You know, I hope you get to stay with us forever. I'm really lucky to have a teacher as cool as you. Look over there. You see that mountain range in the distance? Are those the Red Dragon Mountains? That's right. You've been studying hard. <laughs> this is the Fitoa region. But beyond the mountains to the north is a country called Renoa. Oh, what's it like up there? It's always beautiful, and it gets very cold in the winter. The snow can pile up even taller than me. That sounds amazing. I'd love to see it sometime. It's also home to the University of Magic, the most prestigious magic school there is. 
They offer more advanced modern courses than anywhere else. School. Not my favorite word. Not to mention they happily accept students from all different backgrounds. There's no misplaced sense of pride, no discrimination based on race or status. Look, if you're interested in furthering your magical education, I think you should go to Renoa. I would have to leave the house before I could do that. Nothing. But who cares about school? You're the only master I'll ever need, Miss Rossi! <gasps> you really shouldn't call me that anymore. At this rate, your skill will easily surpass mine. It's weird to call someone inferior to you your master. I don't think it's that weird at all. Trust me, you'll understand sooner or later. Roxy's been living with us for a year and a half, and it turns out, birthdays aren't an annual celebration in this world. Rather, we celebrate larger milestones, with one big party every fifth birthday. So you have food and gifts to look forward to at 5, 10, and 15, when you're considered an adult. Well, Rudy, Thank you all so much! <laughs> How long has it been since anyone cared about my birthday? Since I became a recluse, it's been less special than a, a fry in your onion rings. I've forgotten this feeling. I kind of missed it. <laughs> Happy birthday, little man. This is for you. This is great, Father. Thanks a lot. <clears throat> now then, it's a little much for you right now, but let it be a symbol. For a man must carry a sword in his heart as well as on his hip. It takes more than brute force to defend the people who are dearest to you. You'll have a wife and kids of your own someday, and you'll need the courage to protect them. Think about that as you grow into this weapon. And don't think you can always rely on magic to get the job done. It's flashy, but terrible in close combat, and you'll never keep up in fast-paced battles. However, learn the sword god style, and... Enough! <laughs> I've been excited about this one. Look, I know how much you like books. This is perfect, Mother, thank you! It's exactly what I wanted! <gasps> You're such a good boy! <laughs> and from me. Your very own wand. I crafted it yesterday. That magic stone will amplify your mana. It's so beautiful! It's a typical gift for mastering elementary magic, so I should have given you this a lot sooner. But you could already use it, so it completely slipped my mind. My apologies. That's alright, thank you very much. I'll take good care of it, Master. You learned four types of advanced attack magic before you turned five. You've earned the right to be a little arrogant, you know. No way. I only got here because you taught me so well. <laughs> be that as it may, I'm afraid there's almost nothing left I can offer that will be of any use to you. Huh? Hmm. And so, tomorrow is your graduation exam. <gasps> graduation? Every time I think about leaving the house, it comes flooding back. <laughs> Regret? Despair? I remember it like it was yesterday. When I was depressed or angry, I had a few go-to fantasies. I thought if suddenly I gained amazing powers or some hot girl showed up in need of help, surely I would rise to the occasion. <laughs> one of those dreams actually came true. But what if it ends when I step outside? Keep your chin up. Be brave. I know this is all real now, and I promised myself I'd get serious. But my body won't cooperate. I want to cry. Who's a good horse? How far are we going? The other side of the village. We can't just do it here in the garden? We cannot. Are you sure? Uh, Rudy's never been too keen on venturing out. Maybe he's scared of monsters. As long as we stay away from the forest, we'll be fine. It's unusual to run into monsters around these parts. And even if you do, they're all pretty weak. Come here, kiddo. I promise, Caravaggio's gentle. 
is the horse you're afraid of, isn't it? <laughs> I'm really not that scared of horses. <laughs> wow, you always act your age when I least expect it. <laughs> Up to Daisy. There. Uh, once we get moving, you'll see there's nothing to worry about. I'm right here. Good luck, Rudy. We love you. You see now? We're both okay. Uh -huh. Don't look at me like that. Huh? Why are you staring? Cut it out. Thanks again for the other day. Sure thing. They're not staring at me. Morning, Roxy. How are you? Good morning. They're all looking at Roxy. Caravaggio is in a good mood. I think he's happy that you're riding him, Rudy. You really think so? How do you feel now? Are you still nervous? No, I actually feel pretty good. And just like that, I had nothing to fear. Why did I think anyone would mock morning, me in a peaceful village morning. like this? How do you do? How do you do, ma'am? Hey, Roxy's you amazing. Good morning. I'm sure she faced prejudice at first. Look but now she's a beloved Hello. member of our community. It's a nice village, huh, Master? Yes, I've become quite fond of it. This looks like a good spot. It feels great out here! I'm going to use the St. Class water spell Cumulon Nimbus. I can only cast it once, so watch closely, then attempt it on your own. That is your final exam. Are we doing this away from town because it's a secret spell? No. We're here to make sure we don't hurt anyone or damage crops. Spirits of the Magnificent Waters, and Imperial Prince of Lightning who rules the heavens, I beseech thee to grant my wish, and bless me thy savagery. Reveal thy might to this insignificant servant. Strike all with the blow of thy divine hammer on the anvil, and cover the land in water. Now come, O oh rain! Sweep all else away, in thy flood of destruction! Cumulon Nimbus! Sam, which I suppose marks the end of my home tutoring. Oh, spirits of the magnificent waters and imperial prince of lightning who rules the heavens! I beseech thee to grant my wish and I know, me Roxy, she'll say something like, I can't impose on you when I have nothing left to teach. She may insist on leaving tomorrow, making this our last day together. Look at that! Now! Come on, Wash everything away! I wish I'd gotten to know her better. I don't remember telling you to make it bigger than my own demonstration. Sorry if I overdid it. It's kind of bittersweet. Oh. In two years, you learned what took me a lifetime to perfect, so I have nothing left to teach. <gasps> I'm proud of you, Rudy. Congratulations. You're a St. Class Water Mage. Yeah. 
Yeah, don't go. The villagers would love to have you around. It's very kind of you to offer. But I'd like to travel the world for a little while and continue to hone my magical abilities. I see. Well, in that case, my apologies. I hate that our son made you lose confidence in yourself. That's a real garbage way of putting that, Paul. Rudy, I hope you know I did the very best I could. But I lack the ability to guide someone of your caliber. That's not true at all! You gave me more than I ever could have asked for, Master! from my village. I wanted to give you something to commemorate your graduation. I hope this is enough. <gasps> I'll treasure it forever! I was hoping you'd say something like that. I better get going. <gasps> Till next time! experience, technique, but most importantly, she brought me outside. Such a simple thing, but powerful. She did something no one had been able to do in over 20 years. She helped heal me. I know she'll never understand what that means to me. Still, as long as I live, I'm gonna respect that girl. I still have a pair of her panties that I stole a few months ago. My bad, Roxy. That little girl gave me something truly priceless. I can go out. I'm done being a shut-in. I won't let that go to waste. This is the first day of the rest of my life.
Give it a shot. I'm not scared. Where'd he get that water from? <laughs> this is lame. Let's go. Are you okay? Wow. Holy crap. This kid's a looker. He's gonna be a total chick magnet here in a few years. Uh, yeah. I'm alright. Hey, lean forward for just a second. Uh, okay. He's pretty cooperative when he's not being screamed at. Calling it now, he's gonna be a dude magnet too. <laughs> hey! Close your eyes. You'll have to wash your clothes at home. Well done. Thank you. They're fairly easy to recognize. They all have emerald green hair and red gems in their foreheads, so don't you dare go anywhere near them. His forehead is smooth and white. Okay, safe. He's not one of those dangerous superds. But those ears. You know, kids like that won't stop unless you learn to fight back. Uh, are you sure the way I look doesn't scare you or anything? No way, my master was Magurdian. Are you a demon too? I'm not sure. My dad says that I'm not. He doesn't know? At his age? That's odd. Mom's human. My dad's half-elf. Nice! I knew it! Of course this world has elves. But my hair color isn't the same as either of my parents. <laughs> Sounds like his home life is a little complicated. But no one should get pelted with mud just for their hair color. Just thinking about it pisses me off. Um, why did you help me? My father always told me that I should be an ally to the weak. But the other kids might not like you now. I'd rather play with you than a bunch of bullies. Huh? We are friends now, aren't we? Uh, Unless you're too busy with chores or something. Mm-mm. <laughs> this guy. A little more confidence and the girls will be all over him. A few might even come my way if we stick together. You know, I never introduced myself. My name is Rudius. And you? Mm. It's Sylph. Sylph? <laughs> That's a cool name. You're like a wind spirit. Yeah. He's never really had one, huh? I feel bad for him. Though I don't really have friends either. That trick you did before. Do it again. Trick? Like when you made warm water go all sploosh from your hands, and then you made that whoosh of hot air. Oh, magic. Can I do it too? Sure, if you learn the right incantations. I think. Incantations? Do you want to? training right away. <gasps> I'm home, Father! Father? Do you know why I'm upset with you? Nope. Is this about Roxy's pan- uh, 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 holy relic? Uh, no, sir, I don't. Interesting. I hear you punched Miss Etto's boy Somal today. Oh, my stash is safe. Wait, what? Did you say today? I did. Uh-huh, I gotcha. Must be the brat who was bullying Sylph. I'm not sure what you heard, Father, but I promise you- Enough! When you do something wrong, you apologize first. I was playing by myself and I heard voices- No excuses! His mind's made up and he has no intention of hearing me out. What's that look for? I could apologize and get it over with, but I don't think that would be best for Paul. Well then, why won't you say anything? Because you'll just yell at me to not make excuses. What? You want to shout and make me apologize before I can explain? Must be nice to lord that kind of power over a kid. Rudy! Father, I have always uh, put in the utmost effort to be a good son to you and mother. Well, that's beside the point. No, it isn't. I've worked hard to earn your trust and you took someone else's word. You yelled at me, you raised your hand to me, and still you refused to listen. And? You injured little Somal! I won't apologize even if that is my fault. 
I'm proud of what I did today. Wait, hang on. Tell me what happened. I thought you told me no excuses. <sighs> but please don't worry about it, Father. The next time I see three kids ganging up on someone who won't fight back, I'll simply ignore it. In fact, I'll even jump in myself and make it four against one. I'll be sure to let everyone know that that's the Grey Rat family way. But once I grow up and leave home, I'll never use the Grey Rat name again. I'll be too ashamed to belong to a family that ignores violence and accepts verbal abuse. You better take the L, Paul. I know you can't tell, but I spent two decades weaseling my way out of unwinnable arguments. And this time, I'm completely in the right. You haven't got a chance. I'm sorry. I was wrong. Tell me what happened. Hi, Mother. Welcome back, Rudy. Did you have fun today? Yeah, I made a new friend. You did? How wonderful. <sighs> that could have gone better. I expect you to give that So Mom did have one heck of a black eye. Just look at what he did. Rudy has matured so quickly. I was almost relieved to hear he'd done something so childish. Even so... He's already a St. Class Water Mage. Of course he would have trouble relating with other kids. I only meant to scold him a little. Where did I go wrong? How stupid. I want to show him those with power shouldn't resort to violence, and yet... What's the matter? You look gloomy. Mm, yeah. I had a little fight with Rudy earlier. That's not like you. I was this close to telling him to leave. I bet he would have done it without a second thought. Just like that. You mean like you did? <laughs> I wonder if this is how my dad felt. I wish I'd gotten to apologize. And it's summer again. Those bratty kids kept coming after me and Syl for a while, but they're pretty easy to take care of. That one mom keeps showing up to complain, but if we're being honest, I think she's more interested in Paul than her kid's well-being. She just wants an excuse to come see him. Stupid. Why is it so hot? It sucks out here. I'm sorry. Am I late? Nope. I just got here. I didn't. Get it! Sylph's mana has grown a lot in the past six months. He can train for hours at a time now. So I guess the idea that there are limits on a person's magical reserves is total bunk. Hey, I want to learn that one you did where you made a warm breeze. Oh, that? For that one, you conjure...